yeah, will Brendan ever be funny? This is this is one that I want to talk about because, in my opinion, I think not. So let me just get this clip loaded for you. Bear with me a second. There we go. Yeah, boom. So there we go. Is that the one? No, it's not the right one. Whoops. Yeah, it is the right one. Is it the right one? Yeah, it is the right one. Okay, cool. Let's play this clip as well. Big up Crash. I'll wait for that to load where it gets through. Big up the chat as well. Make sure if you're in the chat and you're enjoying the stream, please make sure you like the stream. I would appreciate that. That's all I ask from you. Please like the stream if you're enjoying it. If you're not enjoying it, then of course you can dislike. That's more than okay. But if you're enjoying it, please make sure that you're liking the stream. That will be greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated. Big up the chat. Big up Coilo. I see you. Crash. Who's John Africa? <laughs> NJ Ranger. Big up you um who else is here big up everybody logos cartel i see ya big up big up big up big up big up we feeling good feeling fine okay cool um big up vagabond sean i see ya big up thief thief keith i see ya brother i see ya. okay cool moving on so this clip is would you will brendan ever be funny i think not that's my initial reaction i'm gonna say probably not it's quite hard to start comedy in your mid 30s and then become funny and i'm not and i don't mean just the stand up thing i just mean the sense of humor thing you know he's never really been a funny dude he was never the class clown he doesn't really have a great sense of humor on stage um he's not really the most um introspective good at observational type of guy either so that's pretty difficult right um so it's just gonna be really difficult he's gonna have a particular brand of funny because i think funny subjective as we've seen with certain people's specials but I think in a conventional sense, nah, it's not happening. Not going to happen anytime soon. That's why I say it's actually a waste of time that he does stand up. I think he should just do like live shows instead, live podcast shows, have some bits where he riffs and does these type of talking thing. But pursuing an actual conventional stand up comedy career is probably a bit of a waste of time. Really. Big up Crash 1948. Appreciate you, brother. You're always so good at spotting the thirst faces. Smiley face. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. You know why I'm so good at spotting the first faces? Because I myself have first faces. I know what it looks like. And I go out my way to try not to do it, but sometimes it just happens, right? You just have that. You know? When you talk to somebody, you're like, <laughs> you're so funny. Ah. You know, open your mouth wide just for the sake of it because you want them to fucking stick their nipple in your mouth. Like, ah. <laughs> anyway so i don't think brendan could ever be funny because he just hasn't got the chops but let's hear a little bit about his journey to funny via this clip now his journey to funny via this clip now but yeah i didn't, I didn't see that coming but from my perspective it was like big bag more money than i've ever made i got the hour anyways Fuck it, let's put <laughs> big it bag out. but it, in hindsight i would have never done that you would have never done it you would no. take it back i in hindsight i wouldn't post anything until i'm 10 years deep I'm only eight in. Yeah. So I would wait till the 10 year mark. There's a reason they say wait 10 years. See that? So live and learn. You live by your mistakes. I, yeah, you I, know, I, I learned the hardest. <laughs> Dude, I remember. So when I was like, uh, like be a, cool, uh, man. <laughs> having be fucking cool. Trying to get an applause from people for being sensible and realizing where you're at and being an adult is really crazy. Um, but in my opinion, it's really startling that he would say he's only seven years in. Seven years in, and he's still dis on funny. This whole mythical 10 year thing as well is interesting because he never once says, I want to. Like, do you remember before? I don't, a lot of comedians don't say it now, but do you remember there'll be some comedians that would say this line, all I wanted was just to make my, my comedian friends laugh? Do you remember? They'll be like, oh, all I wanted were the guys at the back to, hit, to just laugh at my jokes. I wanted my, com my comedic peers to find me funny. Or to give me words of encouragement. You don't really hear that anymore, right? So him saying, I just want to get to the 10-year mark, he's got in his brain, he has this idea that once he's 10 years in, he'll wake up and he'll just be funny. It doesn't work like that, does it? Really? Like, I kind of see funny the same way that I see, like, striking and grappling in the UFC. If you don't have a base of that stuff and you're more striking, you know, you're more you're you're more striking dominant or you're more grappling dominant but then you have to kind of make up for the difference that you don't have or the skills that you don't have it's very difficult to close the gap with somebody who's been training muay thai since they were a fucking child or a teenager it's almost impossible it's all like the deontay wilder thing they say right he's always had this god-given gift of like having power in his hands so you can put your lights out 
but is he ever going to develop to be an actual high level boxer probably not he will improve his skills he'll get better than what he is but he's still only going to have a ceiling because he started so late in his life quote unquote compared to other people and i think the same thing applies to funny if you're seven years in and your material that you have to show us is you'd be surprised and gringo pappy i would say that's a fair estimation of how funny you of the of the maximum ability that you have of your capacity basically i don't think there's anything more you can do especially if you're somebody that's not able to like it'd be different if he was um if he was introspective self-aware right and somewhat humble maybe there's a prospect of you maybe being able to really be honest with yourself brutally so with your own material watch it a million times go over it with a fine tooth comb and then maybe make some notes as to how you can improve and maybe you know ask some people for advice and shit listen to uh, listen to watch other people and use that but you don't hear brendan talk about watching other people's specials you don't hear him about popping into random clubs to see people perform you don't hear him talk about watching old specials or old or watching old comedy movies and getting things from them all it is like he said is a bag essentially all of those gigs you see on his website when he's performing places are just opportunities to make money which is sad but it is what it is so if that is what it is say it but let's not pretend that you want to be funny or that you're going to get funny. It's not going to happen. I don't think so. It's basically impossible. Um, and like I said, I think it's one thing if you've always... Imagine if you're always a class clown, you're always quite charismatic and shit. It's, you could probably translate that into stand-up, but I don't think Brenda was ever that funny dude. So he's now suddenly trying to do a funny dude on stage. It's very difficult. And also, I think there's a very big misconception out there with people, myself included, where you think because you're funny on a podcast or because you're funny on a live stream, it means you can be funny on stage. I think they're different gifts. They're different abilities. You can obviously fine tune it, but just to like think because you make people laugh on a stream that you could do that on a, on a stage is wild. It's not the same thing at all. Even your cadence, your delivery, the way you stand, the way you hold a microphone, like anybody that's been on stage before, done any kind of public speaking will know how nerve wracking it is. Just getting over the nerves is difficult enough. Remembering what to say is difficult enough. Trying to fucking, you know, make sure you get the cadence down and what kind of words and language and pacing you're using is all very difficult. So imagine doing it and having the brain that's riddled with CTE and then trying to do comedy. It's going to be difficult. So not happening, in my opinion. Um, 